Hello, hello everyone. I hope you're excited for this art supply face-off video. I'm Katie and welcome back to my channel. So today, like I just said, we're going to be doing an art supply face-off video and it's going to be facing off between all of my different erasers. Now, just a disclaimer, this does not include things like the end of pencil erasers. This is just the solid erasers that I have. So I know this was pretty highly requested among all of you and there are tons of other erasers out there, but I thought that it would be best to just show off the ones I own currently and then maybe add more to it later. Funny story, this video is actually going to be a Color Erase versus Color Eno pencil face off. But apparently my color erase pencils just walked off. I have no idea where they went. And I had a 24 pack, so where does that go? I don't know. Anyway, um, so I will be doing that for the next Art Supply Face Off video, I think. So if you are excited for that video, thumbs up the video. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe down below and ring the bell if you want to keep notified on when I upload new videos. Now, let us get into testing this. Now, I am not going to be doing a full illustration because, honestly, I mean, yeah, I could do, like, a, a racer challenge or something strange like that, and, hey, that might be something fun to do in the future. But for now, we're going to be testing how these erase on um, some papers with different hardnesses of pencils. So I hope you're excited for that. It's not going to be exciting of a video, but, uh, yeah, it'll be informative, if anything else. Alright, so for this, I am going to be using four, five, five, I can't count, uh, different pencils. So I have a 6B, which is very, very dark. I've got a 2B, which isn't as dark as the 6B, but it is quite dark still. I've got an HB, which is kind of like middle of the road, your average pencil kind of thing. And then I've also got a 4H, which is a very light pencil. And then just to add a little wild card, I'm going to add a Pilot Color Eno pencil um, in purple. This is the one I find that is hardest to erase. So we're going to give them a little bit of a challenge. So, um, of course, I'm going to speed most of this up um, and voice it over, but I wanted to just kind of go over the supplies that I'll be using. Um, and I also am drawing all of this on Bristol paper. This is smooth Bristol. Um, your results may vary with different papers, but I thought it wouldn't be smart to do it on, like, watercolor paper because watercolor paper, in my opinion, is harder to erase than some other papers. And printer paper is a little too thin for my taste. So this is what I pretty much use a lot of when I'm not using watercolor paper. So I thought it would be best for me anyway to test this out. So anyway, sorry for that long explanation. Let's get into the pencil scribbles and the erasing. All right, time for the erasing. First up, we're going to start with the Coom eraser that I got from an Art Snacks box. Now this eraser is great for getting details, and but it's very crumbly and it does leave behind pink smears, which I find to be very infuriating. And as the pencil gets darker on the paper, uh, this one doesn't have as much erasing potency as some of the other ones on the list. Um, however, I am rather shocked that it did as well as it did. Um, again, I wasn't expecting much from this. This certainly isn't my favorite eraser, especially for when it comes to erasing dark marks. Um, but, it, you know, it's not bad. However, I'm giving this one a rating of a D because this one didn't do very well, um, especially among the others. Next up, we're going to be talking about the Factus Black 18 eraser, and this is one of my go-to erasers. I really do enjoy it. However, it didn't do as well as I thought it was going to do. Um, so it does really well on the lighter pencils, but as you go down, it tends to pick up the pencil and smudge it as you're erasing. It only does it on the sides, and it's very strange. You'll see it in the video, but... It's very strange. It does do very well, however, because it really doesn't leave too much pencil marks behind outside of, you know, the 6B, and it does really well with the color erase, too. It does leave behind a lot of eraser shavings, and it's really not great for detail, but this is among one of my favorite erasers, and I'm giving this one a B-, minus, just because of them smudges, honestly. Next up is the Papermate Tough Stick Eraser Stick. Uh, this one is really, really great for detail, as you could probably imagine. Um, and it really doesn't leave behind a lot of eraser shavings. However, they kind of tend to ball up on the tip of the eraser, which is quite frustrating. You know, this one didn't do too bad until, again, you hit that 6B pencil, and that's what tripped up a lot of these erasers, to be honest. Um, 
It didn't do too bad, though, and I was pleasantly surprised. However, I had to work really hard to get this to erase for the 6B. Um, but other than that, it did pretty good. And I'm going to give this one a C plus because it's good for detail, and it did pretty well, let's be honest. Next up is the Faber-Castell PVC-free, dust-free eraser, I believe. It, I don't have the branding anymore, but um, this is another one of my go-to erasers. Not because I particularly like it, just because I don't want to waste an eraser. <laughs> um, this one, you know, it's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. It's terrible for detail. However, one of my favorite things about this eraser, and you probably have seen it already, when you erase, it leaves little strips of the dust instead of like it crumbling everywhere, so it's much easier to uh, contain all of your shavings. Um, it, you know, it did better than some of the previous erasers as far as the dark one, and I'm going to give this one a C because you know what? It did pretty well, and yeah, it was not that bad. Next up is this Derwent eraser. It comes in a like a sharpener eraser combo set. I don't really even know uh, what it's called. I got this in an art snacks box too. Um, it, it, I don't know. I thought having like a little handy grip for it would be cool like to erase with. Um, no, not really. Um, it actually makes it a little more clunky in my opinion. Um, and it doesn't do very well. I'll just be honest. It's cool that it's like a two in one and everything, but I don't think it's worth all the hype. It barely even erased that color Eno pencil and most of the other ones before this one erased that even better than this one. So I'm going to give this one a D minus because I didn't like this one. Next up is the Sakata Sumo Grip, a retractable eraser, and this one's kind of like a dark horse because you didn't know you wanted it until you got it. This is amazing. <laughs> this is my new favorite eraser, and you're going to see why in just a moment. It takes on every one of these pencils and doesn't even think about it. It just erases so beautifully. I'm giving this one an A+. It does a really good job. The only bad part about this is it has a lot of shavings, uh, eraser shavings, but, you know, it's good for detail and stuff, too, which is always nice. Then we're going to be talking about the Tombow Mono Zero. This is the retractable one. I know Tombow Mono also makes, like, the square rectangle ones, but we're talking about the retractable one. You know, a lot of people hype this eraser a lot, and... I don't really see the hype. Now for lighter pencils, which honestly, if any of these racers can't take away my 4H pencil, then there is a problem because that thing is so easy to erase. But once you get down to the darker pencils, it doesn't do that well. It actually leaves a lot of residue behind and it didn't even really pick up the color Eno pencil that well. And so for this, I'm giving it a D plus. Um, it's done better than some of the other ones, but it's still not the greatest. Then this is my tried and true eraser. This is Vanish Eraser 4-in-1 by Jerry's Artorama. And, okay, this used to be my absolute favorite eraser. And, man, I thought it was the best eraser around. Well, boy, was I wrong. It's not bad. Like, it's not as bad as some of the ones that I've tested. But you know what? I'm surprised at how bad it is compared to some of the other ones, especially because I buy, like, a million of these things because I really like them. But... That's okay. I'm going to give this one a rating of a C just because it does still do really well, especially with the color Eno pencil, but it's not great. And then lastly, um, <laughs> we're going to try that electric eraser that I got from Wish. Now, you know, it starts off good. It starts to race off really well. You can tell this one's sped up. I did not speed up the other clips. This took forever to erase, number one. Uh, no, I just, it should not take this long. And once I got to the darker leads, it started smudging the pencil and not erasing the pencil. And boy, oh boy, was that annoying. But anyway, this one's getting a flat F because it sucked. <laughs> Let's just be honest here. It sucked. So anyway, uh, thank you for watching my opinion on the erasers that I own. Yeah, I mean, you may have a different opinion, and of course, I can't capture everything on the camera. Like, I was looking at the paper while I was talking to you guys so I could get a good reference of, you know, how they did. But this is just my opinions on these particular erasers. Again, these are the only ones I really own and use, and I'm chucking that electric eraser. <laughs> it sucks. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it might have been a little boring, but I hope it was informative nonetheless. 
Don't forget, if you haven't followed me on any of my social media, there will be links down in the description below. Also, I want to take this time right now to show you guys the colorings of my line art from last month for on Patreon. Um, my patrons did a wonderful job, and honestly, they're just absolutely gorgeous, and uh, I don't know. I just <laughs> I can't thank them enough for coloring my line art. So anyway, um, there is a new line art this month, uh, August, so if you go head on over to my Patreon for $1 a month, you get access to the coloring contest, and if you color it and you share it with me on the community tab, then you get entered into a chance to win free stuff from my art store and what's not to love about that. So anyway, if you are interested in checking that out, there will be a link on the screen. Okay, I have talked long enough. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so incredibly much. And yeah, until next time, my adorable squidlings, toodaloo!